Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal making major transfer decision as Edu looks to complete six summer signing and then we're going to look at also identifying Miklos as a replacement as manager given deadline to save his job. So the first transfer headline states that also make major transfer decision as Edu looks to complete six summer signing. So the reports are stating that the Gunners are reportedly keen on the former Tottenham right back but are waiting on Atletico Madrid to lower their asking price before making a move. Also interested in adding a sixth summer signing to their squad before the transfer window closes in around a week's time. The Gunners have been very busy so far in the window, bringing in five new players for a combined total of around £132 million. But the latest reports suggest that the club are not done there. According to a report, also reignited their interest in Atletico Madrid right back Kieran Trippier, but are waiting on the Spanish champions to lower their asking price before going ahead with an official offer for his services. The 30-year-old is said to be keen on returning to the Premier League after spending two years in Spain with Atletico. However, the 2020-2021 La Liga champions are reportedly demanding the full £34 million of the England International's release clause, something that has chopped the Gunners who want Atleti to slash their asking price. Kieran Trippier has just under two years remaining on his contract at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium, meaning Atletico Madrid could look to sell him if the right offer came in. With Hector Bellerin said to be desperate to leave the Emirates Stadium before the transfer window closes, McClaw says he is on the lookout for a new right back. Callum Chambers and Cedric Suarez failed to have a mark during Arsenal's two opening Premier League games in defeats to Brentford and Chelsea recently. Kieran Trippier has also been linked to the move to Manchester United, and the former Tottenham defender is thought to be open on joining Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side. The England defender was asked about his future early in the summer while on international duty with the Free Lions, but remained coy on his situation. He said to The Guardian, I've just enjoyed the season and we've won the title. I'm away with England, we are playing Denmark and I'm not focused on my club or what is going on. I'm just focused on England and doing as best as I can if I play. If I don't play, I still give 100%. He added, it's an unbelievable season and it motivates me to win more even at my age. Coming away with England, it gives me real confidence. Maybe I can share that experience with others who have not won things. Then again, we have players who are winning trophies with their clubs now and they all have that winning mentality. So it looks like also make major transfer decision as Edu looks to complete six summer signing. And that sixth summer signing is in the form of Kieran Trippier and we all know that the Gunners are looking for a right back and that is a transfer priority also fans wanted to see be delivered in the transfer window as the three right backs we currently have with Hector Bellerin not wanting to stay at the football club with Cedric Sorres looking very average and the likes of Callum Chambers also looking average even though he's more of a centre back rather than a right back. So Miklos Setter definitely needs a new right back and Kieran Trippier is someone that Miklos Setter admires. So this slightly takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that also identify Miklos Setter replacement as manager given deadline to save his job. So the reports are stating that pressure is mounting on Arsenal boss Miklos Setter. Arsenal manager Miklos Setter has reportedly been given five games to save his job after his side's dismal start to the new season. The Gunners were down 2 0 on the opening day away to Brentford and lost by the same scoreline against Chelsea at the weekend. Arteta has spent over £100 million on new recruits this summer, but his squad does not look capable of challenging those at the top. The Telegraph claimed that the Arsenal board are willing to give Miklos Setsa until October's international break to keep his job. If the recent slump continues, then the Gunners will apparently turn to former Chelsea boss Antonio Conte, who left. Inter Milan at the end of last season. Antonio Conte guided the San Siro club to the Serie A title before walking away because of the huge financial problems they faced, which saw Romelu Lukaku sold for almost £100 million. Also take on Manchester City before the first international break in September, then they take on Norwich, Burnley, Tottenham and Brighton before the domestic fixtures take another break. It will then be that the Arsenal board will apparently decide whether to continue with the current project, the Telegraph add that Miklos Sesama showing significant improvement in order to remain at the helm, 
Meanwhile, Jamie Carragher called Miklos as a naive for his failed plan against Chelsea. There was a lot of criticism for the manager when you have had a set of bad results and people say he hasn't got a clue what was the plan, Carragher told Sky Sports. Miklos said to had a plan, we studied it this morning. It hasn't worked. Maybe it was just a touch of naivety. But when you play against Chelsea, there's a lot of talk about Romelu Lukaku, but that's not the only problem. It's how you deal with their system. A centre forward and two number 10s, with wing backs who can play as wingers. Rob Holding's job was to look after Kai Havertz, Mario was in the middle with Lukaku, and Mason Mount was deeper with Granit Xhaka. They almost went man to man, maybe a touch naive. You see them sticking with those men, and when the ball goes out wide, Kieran Tainer's job is to get out to the fullback, Reese James, and Granit Xhaka's job is to get into a left sided centre back position, almost a back three. There was a lot of talk they should have played a back three. Maybe they would if Ben White was fit. A lot of the times it was a back three, you see the initial idea of how they wanted to play. The two goals they went away from the system we've been talking about slightly and they've got caught out. It's almost man for man but Mason Mount attaches himself to Kieran Tierney and that gives him a problem. You're back to your conventional 4-2-3-1, Granite Xhaka isn't thinking about the ball into Romelu Lukaku, he's looking over shoulder to see where Mason Mount was. The plan was never to stop the ball coming to Romelu Lukaku. It's how to stop it going into Kai Havertz and Mason Mounts. It goes into the striker and you have the problem. Kieran Tierney has been dragged inside and we know the consequences. So it looks like also identifying McClough as a replacement has manager given deadline to save his job. And that deadline is five more games for McClough Setter. In those five games, if McClough Setter comes out with a flurry of results, then it's likely he will remain as Arsenal manager. But if he doesn't, then Antonio Conte looks like a man that could be brought in and I think he will get results straight away. But I think he could also give financial problems for McClough Setter, I mean for Arsenal as a whole. But I think he still will be a great addition. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post to use the special link I have put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.